Okay guys, today I'm going to try to talk above this beautiful creek behind us and enough looking at the blue pretty water, maybe a little bit more. <laughs> but today I'm going to be doing a video, almost a response, on a video that was done quite a while ago by an awesome person in the community, Morris Kohansky. And he did a video that was called, The More You Know, The Less You Carry. And I'm kind of going to be trying in a way to break this down and what my experience has been on this kind of philosophy and this principle of, you know, knowing more and carrying less. Now, to start off, the basic premise I fully agree with, and that is that as you learn and you get more experience in bushcrafting, generally you will get, you know, as you focus and you get more experience in the different disciplines of bushcrafting, you will become better off and you'll become needing less in those different disciplines. And what I mean by a discipline is the ones broken down, they aren't super hard and defined, but essentially your shelter building skills, your fire building skills, your knife skills, your axe skills, your saw skills, these are all different disciplines that go into making a bushcrafter a better bushcrafter because they can more easily or more, they can more easily or more readily use the tools and the world around them to make what they need for life out here. So, without any further ado, let's jump into it. So, that part I do agree with, that as you get more experienced, you will generally, you can generally get away with carrying less. However, I want to make it clear that this kind of idea tricked me up for quite some time in my beginning bushcrafting, about two bushcrafting years away, like two summers uh, for bushcrafting, because I went out with the idea of trying to, you know, learn more, and so I'll carry less, and so when I went out, I found myself very unprepared, and I had to essentially build everything, and the best way to explain this is that when I went out with that mindset in the beginning, as a beginning bushcrafter, not really knowing like what I was doing, you know, just kind of learning as I go along, I learned that, you know, I got really good at doing everything, the firecraft, sheltercraft, and those different skills, but I wasn't becoming very skilled in any one discipline in bushcraft. And so how my stance has actually changed and as I've gotten further progressed in my bushcrafting career, in my bushcrafting skills and knowledge, I learned that instead of trying to go out with nothing and try to gain all the knowledge at one time and overloading my system, or essentially cause me to be a poor bushcrafter, it's more important to go out and practice one discipline at a time until you're getting very good at these skills. So one thing that I say, or one thing so what I heavily encourage, especially in the beginning, but even still, in my own opinion, what I do today is that I focus, and sometimes I will go out, or most times I'll go out with kits, such as what you guys are seeing here, and I'll go out with this kit, and this kit will allow me to have, let's say I just want to practice firecrafting and knifecraft and get better with my knife skills and get better with fire skills, or sometimes I even just go out to get better with my fire skills because I'm going out just to focus on one discipline of bushcraft and essentially this kit covers the rest of it. So in here, you know, I'll have shelters, I'll have, or I'll have my shelter, usually something like a tent, you know, I'll have my different tools so that I don't have to practice any other one facet or one discipline of bushcrafting aside from just firecraft or just knife craft, or just that tool, this tool. It'll allow me to essentially live, but just practice or just refine that one skill. And when I found, after thinking about this for a while and actually practicing that one way of just focusing on discipline at a time, what I found was that I was actually becoming better skilled at a faster rate than just trying to go out and practice everything at once. Because when you go out, and you bushcraft and you have to build your shelter, start your fire, you know, use your axe, your knife, everything is coming at you, it really prevents you, it may sound good initially, but it really prevents you from spending the time to develop techniques and to learn the deeper uses and 
uses of your materials around you. A really good instance of this is instead of just looking at birch bark in our natural land and just saying, oh, I'll use that for firecraft. When I just sat down to just practice firecraft and just grow that discipline for myself, I learned that there was far more resources around me that I could use for effective fire making. And not only this, I could also develop my skills with multiple different fire making instruments because so many of the different disciplines for bushcrafting are firecraft, but there's many different ways to light a fire. You have fire pistons, you have ferro rods, you have flint and steel, you have bow drills, you have so many different ways to start a fire. So if all you're ever doing is just going out practicing all the skills at once, you're never going to actually be able to master or get a very good grip on any one particular discipline. So hopefully this makes some sense, but what I'm trying to get back to ultimately is that while it is important to learn more so that you can carry less, in the beginning, especially at the beginning, but even as you grow into an intermediate or advanced bushcrafter, it's important to go out with a pretty robust kit, something like this, you guys can see, I have a lot on here, and what it allows me to do is set up my backpack so that, like I said, I can cover shelter craft and have firecraft pretty well put away so that if I want to just work with just my axe and just my saw and just my knife and learn how to better use them and refine my technique, I don't really have to worry about you know, going out and finding and foraging for fire starting materials or making a shelter because those things can be very intensive, especially when you're trying to learn other disciplines in bushcraft. So what I would say is that I love the philosophy of the more you know, the less you carry, but make sure that before you go out with nothing, before you go out having nothing with you and just relying on your bushcraft skills, make sure that you take the time to really learn and hone in your techniques and your skills in each and every discipline, each and every discipline you need for bushcraft. So that's my take on the more you know, the less you care. And hopefully this has made some sense and hopefully this clears some things up for you guys. This has been something that I haven't struggled with for a while, but I know that as a beginner bushcrafter, it's something that can press on you, especially if you really are going after a very wilderness living survival manner of bushcraft. So anyways guys, that's all for now. God bless.